Episode 3, we're here at Sacred Tattoo Shop in Soho, and here we have a very special guest. Who are you and what do you do? Um, bro, first of all, thank you for the opportunity, you know, the space and shit. Um, my name is Alejandro, I'm from Colombia, and I'm an artist. Alright, that's fire. Um, tell us, uh, how did you start creating, or what was your introduction to being a creative, to art? Um, I think um, I've been like art's been with me my whole life since I was a child. Like I remember like watching anime, Dragon Ball Z and stuff, and you know just try to. I was just trying to like draw the the characters and stuff. So I would say like those were my beginnings and uh, the neighborhood that I grew up in, like. It was big on hip hop, so I started doing graffiti. Okay, that's fire. So, aside from being a tattoo artist, do you say you started first with your love for graffiti? Yeah, I started with graffiti, and then um, you know I uh, met some people, and then I started skating as well. And um, after that, like you know, I finished high school, and then. I wasn't like doing too much art, but like as soon as I um, graduated from high school, I went to a uh, school for art, and then that's when like I started taking art like more seriously. Okay, and that's amazing. And how do you think that traditional schooling affected uh, your craft opposed to your raw approach? And do you carry that with you still? I think it, it affected it in a good way because like you know how some people say like you born as an artist and you carry that with you I feel that that's true but at the same time you gotta like learn this stuff um have having gotten schooling a uh, traditional I guess approach to art how do you feel that affects your uh, not only ability to create but the way in which you create today um, I think it affected in a good way because like I learned like the basics you know like when you really want to learn something I feel that you have to learn it you know what I'm saying like not just try to do it but just learn the basics so you can play around and there later on like just uh, incorporate that you're saying into your own craft more than that it's like destroy the things that you learn wow that's from amazing what you learn you know what i'm saying okay that's that's actually really interesting so um with that said how long do you feel like you knew as a person that you were a creative like when was the first time in your life that you realized i know you said you started with graffiti but um when did you say like i really love art and i'm gonna really um like find out what it means for me to be an artist yo it's it's so crazy that you asked me this because like i never thought about this but like i i took just came to my mind and it's like literally when i was drawing all these characters to give little uh, presents to my mom oh my gosh and like that's seeing beautiful. her reaction to those gifts like that's the most beautiful thing you know what i'm saying like like seeing how you can make someone happy with the thing that you do hey man that is beautiful um with that in mind then how would you say art influences the world in the same way that uh, like you see that you reflected it um influences emotion and such like how would you say art in general and your art as well influences the world um I think uh, art influenced the world in every single aspect of our lives. Like, without artists, there will be no history. Mm. It's like music, it's art. Like, I see art as life type thing. Like, God is the architectural divine artist type shit. <laughs> that is beautiful. 
the first mm -hmm. artist himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so what would you say motivates you to create? What influences you to be an artist? Um, same thing, bro. Life, like more than me thinking that i'm an artist uh the thing that i try to do it's like try to follow nature and like try to imitate nature as me um enjoying nature and like really appreciate like the sun the mm. rain everything like wow that's that's beautiful. my inspiration basically so in this in a similar way um how would you say that your other interests your other loves um influence your art your other passions like um like everything influences me in a sense that like i try to be real uh, as i can be to my feelings like I don't know if that replies your question. That was that was a great <laughs> answer. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> How do you define success as an artist? Peace, bro. It's just peace. Like whenever you can enjoy life in the most pure way, like without any um any how you call that, like um expecting something out like it's more of like enjoying it you know what i'm saying like when you can really enjoy it without thinking about the consequences it's just that i would say that's for me that is beautiful um and would you say art helps you in other areas of your life yeah i think it's art it's i don't want to say like it's for what I came to the world, but I would say like, like yeah, it, it's in all the aspects of my life. Like as soon as I wake up, I that's the first thing that I think. Like you know, being alive and being able to express those feelings with art. That is amazing, um, and with being multifaceted, what would you say is your favorite medium? of be like how how do you create how what's your favorite mode of creating um i would say drawing even though that i love tattooing and painting i just feel certain freedom that i don't feel with nothing else but drawing wow that's beautiful um and <clears throat> For other artists, um, either similar to yourself or um, who just love creating and being artistic, uh, what would you say is something that you should focus on to keep you going? Like, what keeps you going? It's crazy because, like, all my answers are similar, but it's life. Like, like being able to transfer all those feelings even if they're bad or they're good feelings, like just express them, like, and just see life as, as a blessing, bro. Like there's people that don't wake up. There's people that are suffering right now. And if you got the possibility of like doing art or just do your passion, just do it for love. <laughs> yeah, like what is the lesson that you've learned through being an artist that you hold very uh, close to you? I would say um, being humble and like how to share what you feel with more people so you can change lives that way, you know what I'm saying? Like instead of like um, believing that I'm better than someone, try to like motivate them to pursue their goal or their dream. Um, what is something that you would like to accomplish as an artist? Peace and freedom, bro. Peace Amen. and freedom. Amen. As an artist, what is a place that you draw inspiration or that influences your craft? Um, I uh, I have um too many people that I admire, but like some of them um are from the Art Nouveau scene. Andrew Avril or uh, Alphonse Mucha, even Caravaggio back then. It, yeah, painting and yeah, yeah. That's amazing. 
And as a creative, just as a person, what are things that you enjoy doing when you don't make art or when you're not making art? Um, I skate. So I try to like balance it because, you know, I'm sitting the whole day and then sometimes I feel like um, that my back feel it. And so I try to skate and another thing that I enjoy a lot and that I try to do often, it's um, stretching type of like yoga type shit. Mm -hmm. So yeah. That is fire. Like is there anything that you would like to add as motivation for anybody struggling with their art? Um don't take it too serious. Like there is nothing that serious in life but death. <laughs> I really like the only thing that is certain it's that you're gonna die. So might as well enjoy the journey you know what i'm saying like don't take it too serious like and also don't let nobody bring your energy down i would say that all right uh, a couple personal questions man so as a tattoo artist how many tattoos do you have yourself oh shit i, I don't even know i can't i would say one two i did this one myself but i would say like around eight Okay, that's mm -hmm. very fire. And out of all of them, which ones would you say are your favorites? I, this one is definitely one of my favorites. That's this a yeah, headpiece. Wow, that's fire. Thank you, bro. Appreciate Accent. it. For your origin story, uh -huh. <laughs> um, when did you become a tattoo artist? When did you start tattooing? Um, I remember that I was going to school for art and then I saw this guy that had his whole face tatted and like I didn't see that before. So I just went to him and told him that I thought it was nice and shit. We became friends and um, he told me that I should have learned how to tattoo. Uh, shout out to my boy David um, in Colombia. And then... Real one. Yeah, real one. And then it was like five years ago, but you know, I was just tattooing my friends and stuff. They're yeah. perfecting the crowd. Yeah, and then, you know, when I moved here, because, you know, since I'm from Colombia, um, I moved here and then it wasn't like my job or not, and I was tattooing just for fun. And then when I moved here, that's when it became real. Mm -hmm. You found your love for it in a more like deep way. Yeah, type of shit. And also like, you know, we got to eat some way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, use your talent, man. As creatives, uh, you would say that um, oftentimes uh, you might not see the fruit of your labor until you um, get really invested in your craft. So uh, where, for example, do you see yourself in a few years? What are some goals personally as a person, as an artist, as a creative? Um, I think um, I'll be developing not my style but i'll be doing things that i like more and i'll be stop doing things that i have to do hey man and it was an amazing time talking to you my brother and getting to know you better thank uh, you bro. one last time what is your name who are you and what do you have to say to the people um my name is alejandro pineros i'm from colombia and um i just have to say my love to everyone and you know just peace and love try to keep pushing through i know we all have difficult moments but like you know we just gotta enjoy and enjoy with my with friends and stuff you know what i'm saying like Amen. my boys and shit you know hell yeah um, follow your dreams and just believe in yourself stop believing in what they tell you through screens and you know um, find your own truth amen that's some people thank you for having us thank you for listening tune in next time peace out that was good uh, it was good it was, that was good fire. Well, it was amazing